with a couple strings attached. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And before we get into today's video, really quick update on the channel in general. I had a bunch of videos slated to come out. My X570 motherboard broke, that's right, my brand new one. And I had to RMA it because Newegg would not let me return it. And so I'm basically waiting for it to come in. Otherwise, I would have just purchased one while I waited for my refund. And I'm super bummed because I had this slated to review. This is a sponsored item that the company gave to me, my first ever sponsored review. It's essentially the NV me PCI 4.0 um, SSD. So this is like the fastest one they have now. And I was gonna test it. I was gonna also give this away. I still plan on doing that. And I'm super bummed that I don't get to do my first sponsored review because my motherboard broke. So anyway, I'm waiting on that as well. Now, all that aside, let's talk about why you probably clicked on this video. And that's how to get a free CPU if you need to upgrade your chipset um, basically for the new Ryzen 3000 CPU. So if you're gonna be buying like a B470, uh, 450 or 370 or 350 chipset, just make sure that if you're buying a brand new, that there is a BIOS update for these. Cause remember not necessarily all the motherboards are backwards compatible, even though the vast majority are. Once you've done that, if you buy a brand new motherboard and it does not work with a Ryzen 3000 CPU that you just bought, after you contact the motherboard's manufacturer, because they some of them do offer a BIOS update for a charge, um, sometimes it's free depending on who it's with. If you go through all of that and you still can't get it to update, then AMD is bringing back their boot kit. So this is a CPU, uh, typically a low end CPU. They allow you to kind of loan out and then you're using it to update your BIOS, which I've made a whole video on. That's kind of why I'm bringing up this topic. And then once you've done that, you kind of have to send it back. So it's not a, like something you get to keep. Otherwise, obviously there's a penalty you would incur, I would assume. So I'm gonna link that down below. And remember, you kind of have to go through all those steps first. But if you guys have absolutely been stuck and you can't upgrade your motherboard and you've been just pulling your hair out about it, at least this way you can get that boot kit so you can update your motherboard without having to go out and buy an old CPU. So AMD has got your back in that regard. Now, another rumor I wanted to address was the whole debated thing from AMD talking about Nvidia pricing. So originally I was kind of elated because I thought, wow, that was really smart of AMD to kind of position themselves. I mean, if you are not know what I'm talking about, AMD essentially said that they purposely listed the cost of their new um, Navi CPUs uh, to get AIM or to get NVIDIA, I should say, to essentially challenge that. And then they dropped their price to undercut them, you know, at a better price to value proposition. I thought, okay, great. That's a great marketing strategy. But then watching a bunch of videos, uh, particularly Gamers Nexus, who's absolutely the, uh, like I would say, the quintessential reviewer in terms of like the depth they go into on different product reviews. He talked with a bunch of AIBs and essentially what they made it sound like is that you more, le they more or less had to drop their pricing after uh, thermals and a bunch of other different tests came out. So whether you believe that AMD planned that or whether you believe they just kind of were forced to do that because of Nvidia's uh, price and performance for their super lineup, it doesn't matter. It just means that there's better price, better competition for us, the consumer. That's all I really care about. I don't care why it happened. Lower costs for us, always good. So on the note of these new GPUs, um, one thing I will say is that if you're going to be buying um, anything in terms of Navi for the 5700 or the 5700 XT, what I would suggest you do is waiting just a little bit longer because the add-in board partner cards are going to be coming out fairly soon. And that means usually better cooling, um, which has been shown across many different videos that it actually, these things are able to be overclocked, uh, you know, significantly with better cooling, which leads to some pretty dang good performance. So I would wait for an add-in board partner. Plus those cards usually come in um, a little bit cheaper, meaning you're gonna be saving money and getting better performance and cooling performance. So I wouldn't quite pull the trigger if you wanna buy one of those Navi cards quite yet. Um, as those add-in board partners are right around the corner. So anyway, guys, this was just a super quick video. It feels good to just kind of get out and making videos here. I've been so slammed with everything and I had all that stuff slated for the stupid X570 chipset and then it broke and I really want to review this and I really want to give it away to you guys. I also want to be working on a different giveaway, potentially for like a Ryzen, um, I think I'm going to do like a 3600. I, I'm going to be testing out on like a 1060 and a 580 in 2019 and seeing really if there's any reason to upgrade. So there's a bunch of stuff I'm working on. Anyway, I appreciate all of you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit the bell icon so you know when these videos drop. Thanks to my Patreon and Twitch subscribers. I know that I haven't been able to stream lately. I'm gonna be getting back into it, but as far as for my Patreon guys, you all make the channel happen in a big way. That's why I put your name at the end of my videos. You get access to things like these monthly wallpaper, which the new one is almost done. Thank goodness, because it's way behind. The artist is amazing though, so I really don't mind waiting for him. I, I had an artist who was doing it and it was just not good 
good in terms of, I didn't think it was quality or speed of delivery. So anyway, we got someone better. And then thanks everyone who uses my Amazon affiliate link. Guys, my channel is completely self-funded. We are a small channel. Um, there are a lot of you who directly support me. You're part of the Discord, which remember you can join that. It's down in the description below. And you know, all I really wanna say is thank you, always. I'm humbled by all of your continued support. Thank you for everyone who watches this. For me to you, I really appreciate it. Hopefully that's because I'm producing good quality and I'm getting better. But either way, thanks to everyone who supports the channel. And of course, I'm gonna make these videos, whether you watch them or not, because I love to do it. But I hope to see all of you next time here on Geared Inc. Seriously guys, $300 worth of stuff to review and give away and I can't do it. I mean, ASRock's always done good for me, but man, that motherboard, seven hours of troubleshooting, it was a pain. And then Newegg wouldn't let me return it. So stupid, I could have bought a new motherboard. I think I like Amazon more.